Hi, I'm Nick with uh, First Update Sound Femination, and I'm here with Val and Jessica from Team 27 Rush. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and talk about the robot a little bit. So, Val, do you want to go ahead and talk about the wrist and the arm? Sure. So we designed a multi-purpose mechanism that would be able to manipulate both balls and hatches. We can retrieve both of the game pieces from the retrieval zone. However, we can we can only pick up cargo from the ground. We do not have a hatch ground intake. And the reason for that is because in the strategy, it wasn't really necessary due to the amount of hatches behind the driver's station. We have a active wrist so that way our gripper can always stay perpendicular to the ground and parallel to the rocket in order to allow for accurate placement of the game pieces. And then our arm is unique because it has 180 degrees of motion. So we don't have a true front or back to our robot. And this allows us to decrease our cycle time from the retrieval zone to the rocket. For sure. And then what gear ratio are you guys running on that and what kind of motor on the arm? So our arm is powered by NEOs, which are brushless motors, uh, which allows us to provide a little bit more torque. And I believe we have a 200 to 1 for the rotation and 101 for the extension. And then the wrist is powered by a 400 to 1 with a 775s. Awesome. That, that is very impressive. And then Jessica, you want to go ahead and talk about the climber a little bit? Sure. So we have two what we call stingers on our robot. So this is what we call the front stingers. Okay. And so these will swing forward and go onto the top of the level three platform. And so this is using a 775 motor with a 1,000 to 1 gear reduction. And the back stingers are using two 775 motors with a 1,200 to 1 gear reduction. And so these will go down after the front stingers are deployed and they will lift the back end of the robot up. And then after this happens, there are powered uh, three-inch Colson wheels on the front that are connected to our drivetrain. And so these will pull the robot forward. And at the end, these back stingers will come up to ensure that we are fully supported by the third platform. Awesome. And then what kind of drivetrain are you guys running? So we have an eight-wheel drivetrain with shifting gearboxes. So we have two, feeds, two speeds of 11 feet per second and 14 feet per second. The two center wheels are treaded, and then the each corner is an omnidirectional wheel to allow for more maneuverability when turning. Awesome. Well, thank you, Val and Jess. I am Nick Jr. from First Updates Now, and look for more videos.